Hey guys, Easter is here, exams are nearly upon us and I'm sending you shopping to make sure that your pencil cases are fully, fully equipped with everything that you need to succeed in your exams. I always check my students' pencil cases before an exam, um, mainly because there are a few important things in there that they often forget. Highlighter pens. Highlighter is really, really useful in exams. Now I've only got one colour here, it is a good idea to have four different colours. That way when you're reading a large block of text and you might have to compare two different things, advantage of thing one, disadvantage of thing one, advantage of thing two, disadvantage of thing two, in four different colours. And then a large block of text is broken down into much, much easier to um, digest chunks, much, much easier to look at chunks if you've just basically gone and coloured it in. You're going to need a long ruler, okay? Now I know this isn't going to fit in your pencil case, so I know this is going to be annoying, but a long ruler is important. And the reason it is important is because the question might be longer than your ruler. It might be. And the other thing it needs to be is a clear ruler, okay? This isn't completely colourless, but you can see through it. So no tippex all over it, no graffiti drawings all over it, because you need to be able to see through it. Because if you're drawing those lines the best fit, you need to see crosses that are under it, as well as the crosses that aren't covered up by it. So a ruler that you can see through, that is long enough to do all of the questions. You are going to need as many black pens as you can get your hands on, because, I can pretty much guarantee if you only take one black pen in with you, it's going to stop working. I know. It's just the way things are, I'm afraid. These things happen. So just literally as many black pens as you can get your hands on, and as many pencils as you can get your hands on as well. Your exam questions have to have to have to be written in black pen. Pencils are really good for drawing things in maths, but do not write in them. If you want to be highlighting bits of information from the question, use your highlighter pens from that. Highlighters um, won't generally show up when they're scanned or when they're photocopied, but you need a black pen so it does. See through pencil case, sharpener, just in case you're. Um, pencil, that's the word I'm looking for, pencil runs out, and then a calculator. Now, I know calculators can be expensive. Most of the other stuff I talked about, you can just pop down to the pound shop and get. In fact, you don't even need a pencil case. A freezer bag will do it, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. Your big expense is going to be your calculator. Um, it is really, really worth doing the best that you can at getting a proper big digital calculator like this. I know they can be a little bit expensive, um, but the other ones don't necessarily have all the functions that you need on there. Um, and it would be a real shame if you miss out on that eight, that seven, that six, just because you didn't have a calculator. Now, um, if you know you can't afford to go and like go do shopping for calculators and stuff, go and talk to your head of year. Okay, your head of year at this time is generally going to be very, very sympathetic to people that come up to her before the exams. I do not mean five minutes before the exams. I mean, like, go and talk to them straight after you get back from holiday and say, I, I need some help. I don't have a calculator. Okay, and they will either lend you one or find you one because, honestly... <laughs> You guys are a little bit forgetful once your GCSE is finished and you leave calculators lying around all over the place and then I collect them up and anyone that I know that doesn't have a calculator, I give them out to, okay? So I just, like, anyone that abandons their calculator at the end of their GCSE because they do it all the time, your school will have a stash of old calculators somewhere. Don't feel embarrassed about going to ask because embarrassment might cost you that grade in your GCSE. Now things you are not allowed in your exams. Pretty colour pens. I love my pretty colour pens. I do basically all of my writing in pink and pale blue, but these are bad for exams, so do not have these. You need a shed load of black pens. And I'm gonna ask you to be mean, I'm gonna ask you to be a little bit stingy with them. 
okay? You don't want to be the person that is known for handing out black pens because then you'll buy a load of black pens, you'll hand them all out and then you'll either run out of black pens yourself or you'll just be expected to hand out black pens every single time there's an exam coming around. Other things you're going to need, um, protractor, compass, loads and loads of useful things for maths, just getting one of those cheap little math sets which you know breaks after five minutes but you only need it for three exams, that's absolutely fine. Um, and loads and loads of use of things. Just, just go crazy in a stationery shop, okay? This is like your one excuse to go and have a load and load of fun shopping. Um, okay guys, I hope that was helpful. I just have so, so much revision stuff coming up for you. I'm working as hard as I can to get loads and loads of videos out for you. Good luck. <laughs>